Hey YouTube. Uh, it's amazing how a lot of people always want to know how to make the Lex Luger 808, which is the big kick 17, the big white kick 17. Everybody wants to know how to make that 808 sound good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the worst it can sound, and then um, we're going to go through how to cut itself, and then we're going to go through how to deal with these settings to make it sound better. So this is what it sounds like when you just take the kick from um, from over here into the pattern. All right. So I'm going to play what I have and it's going to sound like crap. That's the worst case scenario. Usually it would be cut off already. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. Alright. As you can see, it sounds good for a while until you hit any notes that um, go really far from each other, or when it transfers from like a, a E5 to a A4. So when you're going from here, it doesn't uh, transfer right. I'll play that one more time right here. So you heard how it doesn't transfer right. So that's when you have to go into this menu right here. And what I like to do is I like to turn off loop points, which I don't think that does anything. And then this little CRF, just turn it up a little bit like that. And then it's going to make these sound different. is fine now. And then you're going to do that over and over again. So we're going to do it to this one. Well, actually, let me do it this first. So just click it, and then turn that up a little bit, and then move these over. So if you know what to do, this 808 can actually be a really nice um, 808.
So now this is what we came up with now. video um, leave a comment um, and I'll answer all comments so thanks bye